Okay, I don't know what happened this morning, but when Kate got out of bed, it was like she was shot out of a cannon. She's been all like little miss energetic this morning. I've been trying to keep up. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I did have a hearty breakfast, um, so I'd have enough energy to try and keep up with her today. We are gonna pack up and head through the Smoky Mountains. We've been spending a couple days at the Hera Casino in Cherokee, North Carolina. I'll link to that video here. And we're gonna take the RV and take it on the road that goes all the way through the park uh, and then spend a couple nights on the other side. But before we go through the park, we've gotta get packed up, get the RV ready to go, and then take off. So one of the things about driving an RV through a mountain road with all the twists and turns is these drawers will come back and forth and they hit up against here. So every time we're driving, we go around the corner, we hear all five or six of these just hit the thing. So what I thought of doing is I have a camouflage Snuggie here. Keeps me warm at night. Stick that in. And here I have a nice little buffer that should keep all this stuff together. Perfect. The slides are in. I've just locked them in place. Now we just have to put a few things away on the counter and we'll be ready to go. The only way to drive down a mountain road is with a coffee in one hand, steering wheel in the other. Stopped at the visitor center for the Smoky Mountain National Park. This is the visitor center on the Cherokee side. Now there is RV parking that's behind me. And then there's a really great mile and a half trail that starts from here. It's dog friendly and takes you all the way up to the front of the park where the park sign is. The three mile round trip, it's more of a walk than a hike, but it's still pleasant. You can walk down to the river, dip your toes in and you know check out all the scenery and the animals. So it's beautiful. We stopped to dump at the nearest campground on our way into the park. And I have to say, this has to be the most beautiful place we've ever dumped. We've got woods all around us. We've got a river flowing downstream and it's fantastic. I could camp right at the dump station. Now this is the Smoke Mock Campground. Uh, I think off season, it's $17 to camp here. On season, it is 20. This is all dry camping. There are no hookups. They do have a dump station on your way out with fresh water. So I'm doing about 35 right now. We're going up a fairly steep grade. And for those of you who wonder about engine noise, you can hear the engine right now over me. Uh, it's not too bad, but this is about the only time it really gets loud is when you're accelerating and trying to go up a hill. We are going a bit slow. However, the engine is having no problem pulling us up the hill. It's not heating up, so just keep it at a steady pace and go on up. All right, we have hit the twisty section. Uh, lo would have loved this on my motorcycle, but as usual, got my cup of coffee, going around the twisties, and it's actually quite a bit of fun. I think this might be the worst of it for the drive. Uh, coming up the hill wasn't bad at all. The roads are really well paved, and we've got plenty of clearance. There is a tunnel as you start to come down the hill, and it has a 13.6 clearance. So for those of you with really tall rigs, I checked the map before trying to come through here. We are 12.8 and haven't had a problem. Now that was the 441 we just took over the Smoky Mountains. Uh, the road was very well taken care of. Uh, there were some very windy sections, especially on the way down from the Cherokee side. And 
just had to gear the RV down and kind of let it let it do its thing on the way down the hill and not ride the brakes. Uh, aside from that, it was an absolutely beautiful drive. Recommend it. Um, you know, if you have an RV, don't be afraid to take it over the hill. Just be ready to, uh, you know, kind of take it slow on the way down. We're at the Sugar Lens Visitor Center, and we're going to take Leo out, walk around, and see the sights. Uh, we're currently driving through Gatlinburg. This place is a mess. Uh, sidewalks are filled with people. There's a lot of traffic, nonstop shops, subways, everything else. So. If you're coming into the Great Smoky Mountains, I would suggest staying on the Cherokee side if you want peace and quiet. And if you want the tourist town full of people, I would suggest coming over to the Gatlinburg side. So it seems as though we've driven through Pigeon Forge right in the middle of a hot rod convention. Um, there are just classic cars, you know, hot rods, everything lined up along the main drag here on uh, 441. And it is absolutely ridiculous. We were at, we were going to try and uh, boondock at the Cracker Barrel, but when we called, the woman kind of laughed and said, yeah, the parking lot's full. The Cracker Barrel is right over there, and there is not a single spot anywhere. Um, so we're just going to drive through, hit up Costco for some gas and propane and you know see where we end up tonight